Hello, my name is Marta Coelho, and I'm a Cisco TAC Wireless Engineer. This video shows you how to resolve the unregistered 9800CL syslog message when it appears on your 9800CL wireless LAN controller. As from version 1771, when your 9800CL controller is in an unregistered state and the number of access points exceed 50, the controller generates syslog error messages as per the ones you see in this image. This occurs once a day to inform the user that the device needs to be registered to avoid APs from being throttled. The messaging keeps appearing until the device is registered with the license manager. Once the controller is registered, the syslog messages are not displayed any longer. Before you start, make sure that you have a Cisco DNA license acquired for wireless because the device can only work with either Essentials or Advantage, but not both at the same time. Remember that in order to register the controller, you need to choose a topology for the licensing. Smart licensing using policy is an enhanced version of smart licensing with the overarching objective of providing a licensing solution that does not interrupt operations of your network, rather one that enables a compliance relationship to account for the hardware and software licenses you purchase and use. Smart licensing using policy is supporting starting with Cisco IOS XE Amsterdam 1732A. The topologies are Direct Connect, CSLU, SS on prem, or offline topology if internet access is not possible from the controller. Register the controller 9800. For this video, a 9800 CL controller is in use, but the process to register the controller and licenses also applies for any other model of the 9800 wireless LAN controller series. After choosing the required topology, make sure that the controller can reach Smart Software Manager, CSSM via CSLU, which is Smart Licensing Utility, or CSSM via Smart Software Manager on-prem. Here, you can see where to access these three different licensing softwares. For this video, a 9800 CL controller is in use, and topology covered is Direct Connect. Direct Connect Cisco Smart Software Manager is a portal that enables you to manage all of your Cisco software licenses from a centralized location. You need to have access to your smart account on the Smart Software Manager on software.cisco.com. Verify the current license configuration. You can verify the current license configuration with this command, Show License Tech Support. With Show License Status, it provides a shorter output from Show License Tech Support. Now, with Show License Summary, you can see the type of licenses and number of APs joined. This shows what is the type of licenses and the AP count from the last license report push. Now, if you do Show License Hair Entities Summary, you can track the number of APs that were added and deleted and the next license report time. You can also check it in the controller GUI on the tab Licensing. Register with Direct Connect. First, check if you are able to reach smartreceiver.cisco.com as a firewall can be blocking the connection. On the licensing tab of the 9800 controller GUI, copy the serial number. Go to software.cisco.com and navigate to Manage Licenses. Now, navigate to Inventory, Product Instances, make sure that you are on the correct virtual account, and search for the controller serial number. As you can see, the controller is not registered. Configure transport for direct connect on the controller CLI with these commands. License smart transport smart. License smart URL default. Exit and write memory. Go back to the smart software manager. Navigate to general tab and click on new token. Add a description and click on create token. On the same page, you can see the token you created in the first row. 
on that row on the right column, click on Actions and then Copy. Now go back to the controller CLI and establish trust with the Smart Software Manager with these commands. License Smart Trust ED token, paste the token here, all. License Smart Sync All. The license trust code was installed on your controller. One thing to consider is that after the token is entered, the controller contacts Smart Software Manager to report the license usage every 8 hours. Newly joined access point can appear on CSSM up to 8 hours after they initially join. Run Show Inventory to copy the serial number of the controller again. Go back to the Smart Software Manager, navigate to Inventory, Product Instances, and paste the serial number of the controller on the text box. You can see that your controller is now registered. If you click on the controller, you can see more details. For example, type of licenses, how many licenses you have for the controller, and the registration history for your controller. In the controller CLI, use the command show license status to verify the license status on your controller. Verify status such as smart account, transport type, usage reporting, where you see the last report push, which should be your current day. With Show Licenses, Hair Entity Summary, you get the same information. With the number of IPs that were added and removed, and the next license report time. At this point, you will stop seeing any syslog error messages regarding unregistered controller on your controller with dashboard. Thank you for watching!